does ChatGPT make you stupid? So you've probably seen the MIT paper and there's all these kind of clickbaity headlines on social media. So there's a study done at MIT. It was only about 50 people, so a tiny sample size, but that's not the real problem. The real issue is their methodology and the fact it doesn't actually tell us anything. So they got three groups of people and they had them write a series of essays over a period of time. One group used ChatGPT, one group used Google, and the other group wrote the essays manually. And then at the end of the period, they had all three groups write a essay manually without any assistance while hooked up to a brain scanner. And the people who had used ChatGPT throughout the training period um, had lower critical thinking and cognitive engagement while writing the essay. The thing is, that conclusion isn't particularly impressive. The people who trained for a few weeks writing essays manually were better at writing essays manually. Okay. The people who didn't practice that skill over a number of weeks weren't as good as writing essays. Okay. When you don't practice a skill, then you don't get as good at it. That's basically the main conclusion of this article, but that's been blown up into ChatGPT makes you dumb. The real question here, and one that isn't addressed in the paper, is what tasks should we be using AI on? If we want to get better at writing essays manually, like they did in this test, then we need to practice writing essays manually. And we shouldn't be using ChatGPT if we want to learn how to do that. This is not the question that the paper asked, but that's the one that we need to be asking ourselves. Because there's a difference in the importance and quality of tasks that we carry out. We have an important decision right now, each of us personally, which tasks do we want to abdicate to AI and which ones do we want to focus on? We had this same dilemma when the internet appeared. Do we memorize information or do we just look it up using Google? Now the pure encyclopedic memorization of information minutiae detail is basically for pub quizzes and game shows because we've become a culture that uses search to find information. We're at a similar position right now with Gen AI. Here's my more optimistic take on it though. By delegating certain tasks to artificial intelligence, we actually free up space for us to be working on other things. So if I can delegate out the mundane, the boring, the repetitive stuff to artificial intelligence, I now have more headspace to focus on things that matter. If for me, learning to write essays is important, like in the MIT study, then I can spend my time focusing on that and I will get better at writing essays. If it is not important to me, then I won't. But this becomes a choice that we all have to make. We can use AI to become incredibly lazy, or we can use it to leverage our intelligence and do things that we wouldn't have been able to do before. So this MIT paper is fine. It tells us if we don't practice something, we don't get good at it. That's it. Which leads us to the next question, which is what do we focus on getting better at?